cosmos. Let's dab it up. Let's uh, I know you can't see me, but so I mean, we all we can all be invisible times. Like my man got some camouflage. <laughs> Just envision it, man. It's not like you already have have seen me in the light, but yeah. Once again, I'm like I'm like Cena. You know, you can't see me at the moment, but oh man. <laughs> That that is kind of fucking cringy saying that when it when it comes to that, but uh yeah. So Will Osprey seems to be uh the uh kind of the new talk when it comes to in the headlines. Also, I've been seeing, yeah. and I I mean not nothing's really going on right now. I don't think uh well I do have like I did have, but I guess I can uh, I don't know. This is probably like the easiest thing. To talk about right now, and you know nothing. It's not like anything else is pr- probably going around. Watch, watch, something else is gonna fucking slap me in the face. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna get so fucking annoyed. But uh, yeah, I mean nothing's 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 going on right now. So let's just talk about Will Osprey. I mean, all right. So it's like uh, it's, it's being said that Will Osprey might join WWE. You know that he's been he's being offered in a contract, uh, somehow. Yeah, of course, allegedly. And wait, did I hear? I think uh, <laughs> he'll regardless or not. I know like people has uh basically like they don't really take or they mock every time when uh that name is <laughs> that source is uh coming from uh Uncle Dave himself. So, but I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think you heard uh. We kind of heard the same thing in regards to the young the young bucks, or you know can you make it or as such uh, Jay White and then of course we know how that all turned out but let's we can talk a little bit about that today it's not like I have to read news but you know I, yeah I practically just did it right there but you know I wanted to add it on I wanted to just yeah of course because as pretty much of course yeah you practically already know. What I'm about to say, but yeah, like I, I just in regards to I, I, so I just wanted to give it, wrap it up, and just give it what I particularly just yeah, it, it, you know, in a very simple answer to where I wanted to say this, and you know, Will Osprey, you know what? I, yeah, I just want to beg the question in regards to say, okay, like they like signing Will Osprey, like what value does he bring? You know, it's like that's the question I want, like is offering Wesker in regards to you know n- wrestlers names like him. You know, like why, why, like why, why are they looking? I mean, I could see, of course, tri- Triple H, but he, because of like, of course, and that's why I just I'll get into that also. But yes, yeah, like what, what, what value is Will Osprey going to bring WWE at the end of the day? And that's how I look at that, you know. Of course, I mean, you peep the kid, you know, the kids are the same. Of course, you know, like, oh, well, yeah, he's, what are you talking about? He's Will Ospreay. He's fucking, man, he can wrestle his ass off. Did you see that match with Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay? That was trash, by the way. But, like, <laughs> hey, yeah, you must be out of your fucking mind, man. And, I said, yeah, like, what, <laughs> it's just the simple truth of the fact of the matter. It's like, yeah, what, like, why should they, what, why should they sign? Like, what, what would they, what are they, honestly, what are they going to get out of Will Ospreay going to, you know, them signing him? Like, what is it? You know, besides practically just being, what, the ricochet of SmackDown or, the, the, like, yeah, just another spat to the roster that does the same thing already. We already have, we already have, Millions of other Johnny Garganos. We already have millions of other Tomasa Champas. We already have millions of other Sammy Guevara's. We already have millions of other Ricochets. That's the problem. All that's like that. You know, we already have a million of of other Kenny Omega. Like we have, like we have that already, and that's the problem. To where you have, or professional, that's the, you know, that's the that's the reason why pro wrestling, as as much big as it's talked about since the end of time, is that is why it is in the state in such a decline that it is that it is. I mean, people will have you believe that it's so called 
and a boom period. But I mean, you can clearly see they had to they they have to have period blood coming out of their ears, or their brain is dissolved, <laughs> completely dissolved. I, like like I don't know, you want you y'all want to know because I want to go you like, like you want to know what made me so excited about or you know I, what I liked because it's not particularly because people will get, get the wrong idea too and just how I I, I do like I, and you know get people get the wrong idea when I'm referring to wrestlers like you know so called midi uh, vanilla midgets and as such but like. It's not to say, of course, it's just a particular joke and stuff like, just like Marx. But, like, you know what made me so excited? You want to know what got me so pumped and just, you know what ha what I had a profound love for? For wrestlers like a Rey Mysterio, a the Hardys, RVD, <laughs> Bret Hart, Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit. You know, like you want to know what made me so excited for it. it's like because those rust they didn't fucking ha they didn't happen once in every blue moon. You didn't get them every single other fucking week. The, it it was rare to where you see how it is nowadays. To where just like I said, a Rey Mysterio. To where how you know a her a Karana shit. You didn't see that. You didn't see that every single night. You didn't see. Just people just completely just diving off the ladders, and also just you also didn't see just you know just, just an, another wrestler just like now nah, he just scorching blood he got it like well he yeah he got a a spin kick to the head here or right into the chair or you know whatever type of environmental object and he's oh shit oh my goodness gracious. Uh, would you look at that? But yeah, you didn't see. Last well, you didn't see that every fucking day, and that's what made me so excited, or you know, so astonished. Even wrestlers like you know before where they are now, you even had to a certain degree like yeah, of course, Edge and Christian, to where yeah, considered one of the you know greatest tag teams of all time. You know, people got so excited about that every um, every week. It's because they did, you didn't see the shit on, done on a daily basis. And it was new. It was done in a much more creative way. It wasn't done. They also could wrestle. <laughs> they were actual fucking professionals. It took years for them to perfect their craft. And they also took it to a degree, of course, it was just completely fucking insane. But still, like the, yeah, they had a craft to their art. It, like I said, it was art. Of course, art. And it was like art what they did. Like I said, talking about front of guys like Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit, Bret Hart, RVD, Rey Mysterio. Like, they didn't just go out there and just want to get just whether it's, you want to say, a cheap pop or just a, just to hear a fucking roar from the crowd. Now, of course, that was going to come with that, but they did to do you know the what the move or you're about to see they gave you the believability all, all around it I should I said not that the only fact that it was it was not only unheard of and it was new I mean like these they, these guys knew what they were doing and when it happened it actually felt that shit actually felt oh my goodness did you fucking see that like <laughs> And now it's just now every week it's a fucking joke, and people look at it as oh my god, look at it, look at this gay ass shit, and it's like people really watch this. And you like you look at to where we're now. Of course, you got wrestlers like you know, like I said, I mentioned before, like Ricoch Ricochet, like yeah, yeah, he can really wrestle, and he's really good. <laughs> you know, he can put on matches at times that, wow, like, wow, <laughs> I you know I've never even though like you know being that still. Be it, or you know, being a new person, like, oh wow, this, this he's definitely like he's bringing some type of value to that to a certain degree, and yeah, like I said, and you have got, and then you have guys like I don't give a fuck when and where or how has been, Will Osprey has been on the Indies or wherever. Of course, I'm already gonna you know off the rip <laughs> that he's just a guy that of course he's of course and you know that that tends to break their bodies for absolutely fucking nothing, you know, they sit, <laughs> you know, they go out there, 
it just completely just for you know no sense whatsoever to just put your body on the line and like I said that's just the uncaringness of it all and to just like I said you're doing that for what and it's like he also he's now at a point to where I mean yeah WWE especially to where it is now it's the most safest got to be one of the, if not the most the safest environment or most professional when it comes to of course so I I think I guess that would be the best bet when it comes to, but yeah, you have wrestlers like Osprey and also kind of Adam Cole to where they fucked up their bodies. For like I said, because they were no reason, because they fucked up their bodies for you know being on the indies for all the the moves they were doing consistently doing on a daily basis, and just going out there for nothing. <laughs> I said just to I said just to get like a little weep from out of the crowd and to just go out there yeah and just get their shit in for and no art to it no type of substance and it's just wrestling for the fuck of just wrestling that's why I call it work rate that's that's why I call it or at least you can see it like people like me that call it work rate that calls it, you know, indie fed or it's just spot fest because that's all it is when it comes to that type of wrestling nowadays. You just have people, you just have wrestlers or just the people in the sport now that just go out there and they just want to do fucking spots. <laughs> it's like yeah, I said it's like yeah, it is like playing. It's just like a video a video game too, and they just want it to just so they can get some type of approval. Or it's like to just, they completely have lost the, they've completely lost the thought of what it is supposed to be when you, when it comes to a wrestling match. Or why such as wrestler, iconic as wrestlers like a Bret Hart or a Chris Benoit or, you know, Rey Mysterio that did those spots, that did such moves, or, you know, Hardy Boys and as such. Why it was so memorable and why did that it was so famous and at the time and why wrestling become because like they didn't just go out there to just do shit to do shit. It also told a story. It was a spectacle. It was every. It wasn't just wrestling. It, you had everything around it, surrounding it. And yeah, like I said, like he's just another real Osprey. Of course, he's just another fucking wrestler that just goes out. He's a spot monkey. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll say it, and just of course you're gonna have you know Nimrods that out there are they're you know they're gonna get a crank in their ass cheeks and they're gonna call, ah! what the fuck do you know? And yeah, I, <laughs> and that's that. But yeah, I mean, what is it's the reality? And I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck else do you want me to say? You know, he's yeah, he's just another wrestler that goes out there that does spots that won't be remembered, forgotten about the next day. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't see, I don't think, I, I don't, I don't see, and yeah, I'm just being blatant about it, whether you like it or not. But like I said, just I, I like to say I'm just I, I like and be honest with, of course, people there or you know whoever's watching, of course y'all out there, that uh, I like, even though I don't agree, I still. I do, I do, you know, still heart your comment, I still do whatever as such, so, I mean, yeah, of course, we can have, just have a health, I also, I mean, of course, I get, I like shit posted around and everything like that, and trolling, but, you know, if it's, of course, if you're gonna have a seizure, <laughs> then, yeah, of course, you're gonna be, like, of course, as currently mocked, or, yeah, it, you know, it will be as usual, but, so, yeah, like, uh, I mean, of course, if you have one, anything else to add, if, uh, as of course, then it's going to be there. But, yeah, stay blessed, y'all, and enjoy yourselves.